What's up gamers, Mass Gamer here today. I am going to bring you another episode of our best custom classes and weapons review. Today we are working on the G36C. First with our spray comparison, no attachments involved. Um, as you can see this is a highly accurate gun. It is almost a straight line when you're a fully automatic fire. Um, it is very accurate and I really really like this weapon. I think it's underused. Now second we're going to go over to um, adding the kick attachment. As far as the proficiency goes we're adding the kick proficiency. As you can see the cone of fire much much better. Um, pretty much center mass there if you aim correctly. And then a uh, little bit difference when you're aiming down the sight. Um, but this thing is as accurate as a laser beam as you can see. A little bit of an upward kick but if you uh, burst with this, this thing it is a deadly deadly weapon I suggest uh, if you do not use it I suggest using it so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the gameplay on mission um, we're gonna be playing domination of course and this is probably one of the most imbalanced maps in the entire game um, it is so easy to get spawn trapped in A or spawn trap in A it can be pretty difficult to get out if you have a decent team um, this game goes a little bit differently. We do the opposite, mostly spawn trap them at sea, which is uh, a lot less common in this uh, on this map for domination. Um, now the G36C, I believe it is a um, an underused weapon for all the different ones that are out there as far as the assault rifles go. Um, I think when people pick it up, it just maybe doesn't have that sexy look to it. Whatever, I don't know. But uh, I don't think people use this as much as they probably should because it is definitely one of the best assault rifles uh, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. It is a pretty heavy weapon. Your movement is going to be slowed down quite a bit by it, but uh, it definitely does make up for the uh, make up for that by the accuracy and the amount of power that it deals. Um, the iron sight, I don't really prefer it. Um, even though the actual iron sight at the end is small and uh, compact, the gun seems to take up a large uh, portion of your uh, of your screen. So I typically will um, use a, a red dot with this assault rifle. Um, some of the assault rifles obviously um, have better iron sights than others. This one I definitely prefer a, a red dot sight on this one. Um, as you can see I play a little bit slower with this weapon um, just because it is heavier but the amount of damage that it puts out is just phenomenal and the accuracy is just ridiculous so if you're gonna be a uh, if you're gonna be picking an assault rifle and you're not using you know say an ACR or AK-47 whatever try this one out it is a uh, highly recommended weapon I, I use it a lot I enjoy it I have thousands of kills with it um, I think you will too if you don't already use it um, now the attachment options for this, I typically just use red dot. I don't think it needs anything else. Um, you know, obviously if you're wanting to goof off, use the shotgun attachment or, you know, grenade launcher, whatever, you can do that too if you want. But, uh, the good thing about this one is the kick is not that bad, even without the kick proficiency, which I suggest using. So, um, this one you can put on two attachments if you'd like and, uh, you know, fool around with the grenade launcher or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, this weapon is very versatile as far as um, the gameplay that you can use with it. If you're looking at, at uh, really giving some stopping power, you can definitely do so. Um, now let's get on into the ratings. I rate each weapon on four different categories. A scale of 1 to 5 with a total of 20 points um, at the end of the day. I rate it on four uh, separate categories. The first one is the power. That's the actual damage that you're going to be able to deal out with the weapon. Next one is the accuracy and reliability. Um, that's how accurate it's going to be and how reliable the weapon is going to be when you are playing with it. The third one is going to be your movement. Movement: how quickly you're going to be moving across the map. You know how quickly you're going to be aiming, things like that. And the first strike. The first strike is related to the rate of fire, um, but it's you know how quickly you're going to be able to take somebody out if you meet each other toe to toe. Um, running at each other kind of surprised whatever you want to call it, but uh, This one I'm going to give it a four as far as the power it deals out a lot of damage It's gonna give you a lot of uh, bang for your buck as far as your ammunition goes um, as you can see I can just mow through people with this weapon um, Accuracy and reliability this one is also going to get a five. It's one of the most accurate uh, Assault rifles in the game probably one of the most 
accurate weapons in the game and for the first strike just due to how slow it is and uh, it doesn't have the highest rate of fire even though it's a decent rate of fire um, I am going to give it a 3 and the overall score for this is going to be a 15 out of 20 so one of the best assault rifles here um, one of the things that uh, you'll you'll notice is this one is not going to be good for free-for-all uh, just because of the movement speed most of the the slower moving uh, weapons I suggest you do not use it in free-for-all uh, this is however an excellent map if you're you know holding down lanes playing domination uh, you know, demolition, uh, even search and destroy. So most game types it'll work, but I don't really uh, advise it for free for all. Um, and then as far as the player skill, um, I have three different skill levels that I uh, use in these videos, and that is a beginner who is not familiar with Call of Duty or uh, first-person shooters in general. Oh, and I just got totally quick scope by that guy. It was pretty pretty legit shot, um, but. Uh, the, the second would be the um, average player, which is what most of the uh, most of the players that play Call of Duty or I'd say are average. And then you're going to have good players. This weapon is recommended for all player skills. Um, if you're a beginner, this is a good weapon to start out with um, so you can kind of get the hang of it and move on to other weapons. Average players will be able to get a lot of effectiveness out of this weapon. And a good player is going to be able to totally beast with this thing. Um, as you can see, I've got a pretty decent game going on here. Not my best, but definitely not my worst either. Um, and then uh, as far as the player type, um, I also give it three different categories. One would be the defensive, or uh, you know, as we said, the camper. Um, this one works for that, that player type as well. And then there's going to be the moderate or mid player. They kind of stick and move, play the middle of the map. Um, they're aggressive, but not too aggressive. They can kind of fall back into a... Uh, you know, a defensive or an offensive role as necessary. And then you're going to have the aggressive or the rusher. That would be the guy that's in your face. First guy to cap the flag. Um, rushing up before anybody else every single time. Um, this this uh, this weapon is probably best for a defensive or moderate player. Um, even though the with the uh, high rate of damage you could uh, hypothetically be a pretty good rusher with it, but I would say you probably want to be more of a moderate to defensive player um, with this weapon. Now as far as the class setup goes with this, I would say, uh, like I do with all the assault rifles, sleight of hand is definitely a necessity um, to be able to get you that extra reload time when you're going up against multiple players. And um, for the second slot, this one is a versatile weapon, but I would say you probably want to go with either assassin or hardline. Um, if you're playing a little bit more aggressively, feel free to use quick draw in this slot because that will uh, help you out a little bit as far as getting a, an added bonus on that first strike. And the third is, of course, and always will be Stalker. Um, I believe Stalker is definitely a necessity if you're a moderate to aggressive player. Um, you know, if you're a, a super weak defensive camper, then, you know, maybe a Dead Silence or whatever might help out. But I would definitely suggest using Stalker to get the, the, the most out of this weapon and most of the assault rifles. Um, one of the things that uh, I would uh, suggest using this weapon is take a little bit more of your time when you're setting up to aim um, just because it is a lot slower moving. Um, so basically I'm going to go ahead and go over a recap of this weapon while this uh, game is finishing up here. had a pretty decent game on this map, a couple, uh, couple Reapers and uh, whatnot. Um, but I would say that the pros of this weapon is that it's super accurate, super powerful. Um, the cons of this weapon is that it's slow moving and it is very loud, so it will definitely give away your position. Um, I would highly suggest you use this weapon. It is extremely strong, extremely powerful. Um, now that I've pretty much gone over everything, this one did get a 15 out of 20, which uh, makes it one of the best assault rifles. But uh, I've just been uh, kind of looking at a lot of different commentaries recently and it seems like everybody's picking up an HD PBR which that's totally cool I support people that want to you know make gameplay videos and whatnot but uh, I'm noticing that uh, you know the commentary has gone from you know game related to things about people's school things about uh, you know somebody's girlfriend this that I mean which I mean I, I can see a little bit of that but you know you don't hear the uh, NFL commentators or the uh, Major League Baseball commentaries talking about their girlfriends and their wives the whole time or what school they go to 
Um, so it's just kind of an interesting trend, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see if a lot of these people make it for the long haul. I know I'm still relatively new um, as far as the uh, commentary gameplay community goes, but uh, wish everybody the best luck. So I um, just wanted to say thanks for watching. Thanks for the continuous support of our channel. Um, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. We do appreciate it. And uh, keep an eye out. We are going to be doing another uh, giveaway very shortly. So until next time, the Mass Gamer is out.